Adonis is your son And he deserves more than an Adidas press run That's real Love that baby, respect that girl Forget she's a porn star Let her be your world Yeah. Champion We are here today It's going down On Ultimate Rap League Just announced, just released via Twitter From Derez himself No. June 23rd, Pusha T from the Clips going against Drake. You finally hear all this back and forth. This tracks has led to this. Who will prevail on you? I'm joking. Come on. Don't take that to heart. You know, don't believe everything you see on the internet. Drake versus uh, Pusha T is not going down the URL. They can't afford it. I don't think anyone can afford it. You got to keep in mind that Snapchat had to pay Drake $4 million to perform. Written material that he already had. It was already on his track list. Pusha T probably wants 200 k now. Probably 500 you know, with all this beef going on. So, so Battle Rap will never get a battle like this. I understand that Drake came on URL stage one time, told Murder Mook to his face, oh, you got to beat Sir first. Lies. Even if Mook beats Surf, if Mook beats half of you, our roster, he still won't get Drake. That's just how it goes. Let's be honest. Keep it a thousand here. Drake is not battling. His team won't allow it. So, so, so hush that down. Hush that noise. But we are here today for Pusha T versus Drake. Um, I already covered it on my other channel. We're here for the particulars. So if you, if you haven't been watching what's been going on, you know, you haven't been paying close attention. I'm here to enlighten you and give you my thoughts. Pusha T has sent shots at Drake before, you know, very, you know, subliminals, you know, tedious, you know, very minor, minute shots at Drake before. And it went unnoticed, you know, Drake didn't really respond to it. And, 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 and it was fine, everything was fine, you know. He did it again with his new album called Daytona on infrared. He said, Drake, you know, your beats is, the beats is dope, you know what I mean? You know, you know, you know, it, it, the beats is dope, the hooks are dope, the hooks did it. You like, you, you're famous because your hooks is doing it, it's not really your lyrics. The hooks did it. It was written like Nas, but it came from Quentin. Oof, oh man. That's what really got Drake going. You know, he got tired of that. Drake said, no, not no more. Mm -mm. You know, I keep playing over the Quentin stuff. He didn't write all my stuff. Come on, man. That's pretty much what Drake is saying. That's, that's what I got. And he said, don't push me while I'm an album. Within 24 hours, within 24 hours or less, Drake responds. Wow, the pull-up game is vicious. It's like somebody's, if I, if I say something about a battle rapper now, they just walk in like, damn, right away, you're gonna give it two days? Like two days to breathe on it. And if people get, if somebody attack you on what I said? No, he pulled up right then and there. To me, it dropped at the same time. I listened to both at the same time. That same Friday. Oh, my goodness. Okay? Drake responds with Duppy. Lyrically, you know, substance-wise, Drake was doing his thing. Fire. You know, infrared. You read the infrared, infrared wrong. Now the beam on. Drake was punching. <laughs> Drake, Drake, I know you want to battle, Drake. So he hit, so he hit Pusha T with, with those battle bars. Info red wrong fire. He also brought up his fiance. And also Drake was going in. To the world, to the masses. Drake had the upper hand. They was calling him Drake, Drake and Thanos, whatever you want to call it. You know what I mean? They said Drake had an infinity gauntlet. It was comparing uh, Drake to Killmonger. But the thing about it, when you compare Drake to Killmonger, T'Challa was never really dead and, you know, and gone. The child that came back, you know, from the fire said, I, I have not yielded. I have not yielded. So Pusha T came out of nowhere and said, I have not yielded. I have not yielded. And with that being said, Pusha T responds. And when Pusha T responds with the story, uh, uh, did it and on? Let's leave it. This is a better channel, right? Let's, let's, let's call it a did it and on. You know, the story of a den and on, and the cover art is Blackface Drake. The thumbnail matches 
the lyrics. Push a T. It's going left field, right field, middle field, bringing up his baby mom. You know, you know, you know calling his baby mom a, a, a soft core porn star. Oh my goodness, you slow down, boy. You're doing a little too much, Pusha. Talking about his dad? A Steve Harvey nigga, Steve Harvey suit nigga made you? Talking about 40? Talking about he has more? He said it's about this. It's about to be a surgical summer. So you're not. You don't plan to stop. You wait. You're waiting for Drake to come back. And this is where we are now. We are in war, because people are saying, you know, Drake. You know, Drake don't respond. I don't know about that. I don't know about Drake not responding to this. Like it. You know, he has. Drake, I think in a sense he has to respond, either your press release or something. He has to say something. You know, if he's not going to rap, he has to say something. Pusha T said, you are hiding, in the way he said to you are hiding a child. You are, you, you are hiding a child. It's about delivery. So he got to that point, he's rapping and he said, uh, you are hiding a child. Like, delivery is on point. Uh, 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 Drake has to... Drake gotta say something. You know, he's already responded to Blackface, I'll get to that in a second. But Drake has an album coming up, Scorpion, which I think comes out June 28th. You don't wanna release it this way, you know, with this type of baggage tour. You got push a T baggage towards it, you know, on, on it. I don't think you wanna release it like that. And he has a, a clothing line with Adidas coming out, which push a T then bash too. What are we doing here? So y'all saying Drake not to respond and still go through with all this? People are on the internet right now looking up his baby mom and probably getting some lotion. It's keeping it a thousand. I'm sorry. I got, I got, I got, I got, I got to keep it a People are looking up his baby mom and getting lotion right now. You know, you know, you know. In defense of Drake, you know, the young lady is thick, man. She looks good. You know what I mean? So. Come on, I know a lot of, you know, dudes with baby moms that, you know, I'm not, okay, I said, I'll said, I'll chill, I'll chill, I'll chill, okay, I'll chill. But, you know, she ain't, she ain't half bad. You know what I mean? She is thick. But Drake responded to the beef, excuse me, the black face, and here's what he said. Part of my reading, you know, I can't really see it properly here. And the way he's packaged it, it's kind of confusing. You are hiding a child, let that boy come home. It was not from a clothing brand shoot my music career. This picture is from 2007, a time in my life where I was an actor and I was working on a project that was about a young, that was about young black actors struggling to get roles, being stereotyped and typecast. The photos represented how African Americans were once wrongfully portrayed in entertainment. Me and my best friend at the time, Mazin Elsadig, did I butcher your name? I probably did. Mazin Elsadig, who was also an actor from Sudan, were attempting to use our voice to bring awareness to an issue we dealt with all the time as black actors at auditions. This was not, this, sorry, this was to highlight and raise, this was to highlight and raise our frustrations with not always getting a fair chance in the industry and to make a point that the struggle for, that's all it says, it chops off right there. So I'll tell you some, part of, parts of it was confusing, excuse me. Okay. I understand what you're saying, Drake, all this stuff, right? But, but it should have been in bars. Can you imagine a URL battle, you know, uh, um, let's say like a, I need to say a random name right now. Who should I say? Who should I say? Uh, hey, I'll say Battle Rapper A. Battle Rapper A in the first round does all this personal stuff, right? And then say, yo, Battle Rapper B, it's on you. Go, go, go. And before he raps, he talks like, yo, now let me tell you what he's talking about, man. I think, you know, when he brought up that situation and that it just wasn't that good and that, you know, this is how I really felt about that. No, it's on you. Rap. Drake is talented. He could have put a lot of this in the flow. Could have took 30 seconds. 30 seconds. You could have put it in the flow. You know what I mean? You are, right now, I'm just saying, you know, I understand real life, but you're also in lyrical warfare right now. You, you have to rebuttal a certain way. And this breaks it down pretty good, but it's, it's, it's not enough. This doesn't get a Don DeMarco. Honestly, I think Pusha T knew what he was doing all along. He baited him pretty good because this wasn't the first time Pusha T came at Drake. 
Infrared wasn't the first time. So when Drake bit the bait, here comes Pusha T with all this. It's on Drake now, no matter how you flip it. And a lot, a lot of people are downplaying what Pusha T did. No, nah, you can be cool with Drake. However, it doesn't matter. Nah, nah, he was going in. You know, a lot was said. A lot was, you know, unpacked, ungloved. That, that warrants a response, in a sense. So, Drake has to respond. Um, And he's in a point where he... he think Because Joe Budden came at uh, Drake before. Cool. But he never responded. So, he, he never even gave it light. He never tweeted about it or nothing. In a sense. In a sense. So, Joe Budden's there, you know, just shooting at the board. Like, boom, boom, boom. And nothing's happening. But this... Come on. There's also footage of you praising Pusha T, so you know who he is. You respect his craft. Oh, man. It's getting deep. It's getting crazy. Drake said he waited four days, nigga, where y'all at? Now that applies to you. Well, we on the second day? We waited two days, Drake. Where you at? You know, everyone praised him. We got like, in a sense, we got to keep some energy. You know what I mean? We, we, we praised him for the Meek Mill situation. You know, we praised him for W Freestyle. You gotta fight. I, I I am absolutely no way counting Drake out. I know Drake is talented, so Drake will. I feel like he will have a response. He will a thousand percent have a response, but I'm just saying it has to happen. I'm going I'm going against people saying uh, uh, the Pusha T's freestyle was, was garbage. It was not garbage. It was good. It was good. You know, it's very stingy. You know, his album is called Scorpions coming out, and you just got stung by Pusha T a few times within a three minute track. And it seems to me like Pusha T is petty. Pusha T is a petty guy that's gonna... Drake is in dangerous waters, man, because Pusha T is a guy that's petty and has the time of day for you. You know what I mean? You're not coming at Jay-Z where Jay-Z's like, oh man, I ain't got, you know, I ain't trying to mix it with this dude. I ain't trying to tarnish my name. No, Pusha T has the time of day for you. He wants all the smoke. He said, don't put, don't mention Kanye's name. I want all the curses. I need, I need all your attention. That's what he's saying. I'm going to leave it at that. What do y'all think in the comments? Let me know now. It's getting crazy out here. Champion! I was the one to hate. Nobody gave a damn. Told me to my face. I ain't in their plans. Now I'm getting funnel cake. They want to shake my hands.